The man on guitar is Mark Tremonti, known from the massively successful bands Creed and Alter Bridge. Tremonti has sold tens of millions of albums and won a Grammy playing rock music, but now we're hearing a whole different side of him. I've got you under my skin. Mark recorded a whole album of Sinatra classics called Tremonti Sings Sinatra. Even recorded with members of Sinatra's band, the album was a real labor of love. All proceeds are going to benefit the National Down Syndrome Society, a cause very close to his heart. You know, I personally want to raise money uh, for Down Syndrome. Yeah, my daughter has Down Syndrome and it's become a big cause for me. This is Stella. It's my girl. It's my first baby girl. She's the inspiration for the whole project. You know, now I know my purpose. You know, it's just going to be raising money for Down syndrome. And joining us now live is Mark Stella, the whole family, along with Candy Pickard, the president and CEO of the National Down Syndrome Society. Thank you all for being here. Give me a quick introduction of everyone, including your wife and the two boys in the back. Yeah, we have Austin in the back. Pearson here, my wife Victoria. This is Candy from NDSS, and this is Stella. <laughs> Candy and I, we go way back. It yeah. is great to see you, and Stella, it is so great to meet you. Holy cow, you are absolutely more beautiful in person than on the videos that <laughs> I've seen. <laughs> Don't say bye, he's got to say hi first. <laughs> so Mark, you're being honored tomorrow night at the annual gala. Mm -hmm. What was this like for you, obviously, to not only receive this honor, but to be able to now be in a position where you can really help the cause at NDSS? It's the most satisfying thing I've ever done with my career, you know, it's, it's, it's great. You know. To be able to do it out of love for you know she inspired us all to do bigger better things and tomorrow is going to just be uh you know, that's going to be on highlights, so yeah. can't wait. Can you tell us what, um, as a parent, for both, this question goes to both of you, when you found out that Stella would have Down syndrome, what did you go through at that time and, and what's the process been like now? She's two years old. Mm -hmm. I was nervous because I didn't have anybody in my life that I was familiar with that had Down syndrome, but my wife had a cousin that she grew up with and she was kind of my rock through the whole thing. So it was about a week of me kind of doing research and being a little worried and then when she was born, she's just a ray of sunshine, and she's, she makes all of us smile nonstop, so. You know, I've been associated with the organization for the greater part of the last 13 years, and it was so funny when I had, had first heard of your involvement months ago, um, and I always think of the song, one of my favorite songs is, is Arms Wide Open, and I, there's never been a Down Syndrome function that I've ever been to in my entire 13 years of, of being involved where you're not greeted with Arms Wide Open. It just seemed very fitting <laughs> at the time. Stella is absolutely beautiful, Stella. Well, I hope you don't mind. So I'm gonna much. put my glasses on, too. You look so good in your I'm going to put mine on. Um, Sinatra, what was the connection with you deciding, you know what, I'm going to take Sinatra songs and really mm -hmm. challenge myself? Uh, and because the, the band members, I know, obviously, they, they warmed right up to you. Yeah, you know, I think I was obsessed with singing like Sinatra for, for about four years. And I didn't know what I was going to do with it until we got the diagnosis. And I had read all his books, and he's such a huge philanthropist. He raised over a billion dollars for charity. So I thought, what a perfect <laughs> cause to put Frank Sinatra's name on. And, yeah. and you know, it, it worked out perfectly. It, it was, was perfect. <laughs> it was That's absolutely right. perfect. Yeah. Uh, Victoria, what's it like uh, being able to, to see Mark take on a challenge like this, knowing it's benefiting NDSS and, and Stella and, and other people like her for their greater good? Well, I've always been so proud of him, but this is next level. Yeah. It's amazing what it's done for our family and how much it's inspired so many people. So. Yeah. Yeah. Candy, um, you could you probably, I guess, couldn't think of a better spokesperson uh, for the organization um, than to have something like this, uh, a huge celebrity with a great voice <laughs> and an amazing talent and a beautiful daughter. Yeah, and a wonderful family. Yeah. I think that we, we talk about this quite a bit. This has been a really um, tremendous partnership for NDSS, and it's brought a lot of awareness and just a great, I mean, I'm, I'm really excited to see what the future holds for this project. Yeah, let's talk about the gala tomorrow yeah. night, because I know there's going to be a concert uh, portion, we too. Are, huh? Yes. So give people at home a quick little preview of what, we, what they can expect. So tomorrow will be held at Ziegfeld Ballroom here in New York City. Yeah. Uh, the program starts at 6 p.m. And we're raising funds and raising awareness for Down syndrome and honoring this beautiful family. And then at 9 p.m. is when the concert will start. Yeah. So you can kind of think of it as maybe like your own semi-private concert yeah. with Mark. So it it'll sounds, be a lot of fun. It sounds like a great, great it added dimension to this. Boys, what do you think? Is it nice being on television? You kind of like this or what? Yeah. Getting comfortable yeah. back there? <laughs> Sorry we put you in the back but the couch is only so big. Um, they want to do lots of talking because they're not, they're not nervous at all. <laughs> well, don't be nervous. Don't worry. This is easy. And Stella's doing great. Um, can I just I just talk about just what a beautiful little girl you have Thank here. you so much. Um, Thank you so much. And how you just must be over the moon because she is just such a doll and so well behaved. You are better than 99% of the guests that we have on this couch, <laughs> Stella. You. And you are always welcome back. Um, as far as performing those songs, when you look back at what you've done with your body work over your career, mm -hmm. 
where would you scale this on, uh, on a scale of 1 to 10 as far as tough, considering what you've done in your career? You know, this took a lot of work, but I say if, if I'm a little old man looking back at my career, this is probably going to be what I play for my, my grandkids. You yeah. know, this is something I'm very proud of. And were you familiar with, I mean, obviously we all know of Frank Sinatra, mm -hmm. but now that you really had a chance to really dig deep into the lyrics mm -hmm. and meet the band members, do you have a new appreciation for, for what all Blue Abs Eyes did? Absolutely. He, he, his, he just tackled life. He did everything he wanted. He was in almost 60 movies. He recorded 1,500 songs. He, he did everything he wanted to do, and he did it yeah. tremendously well. Are you surprised with how great she's doing here on live television? Oh, she's great. She's got a big oh, night. Yeah. <laughs> we knew she got a good night's sleep. That's right. She's, she's been great. Yes. I have a two-year-old. I can't get her to sit still for Paw Patrol, and you guys have her here on live television. Well, again, thank you all so very much thank for coming so much. here. Sure. Thanks you for your involvement with NDSS, Kenny. Always great to see you. We've got a great studio audience here, so how about a nice round of applause for Stella, she did great. Go ahead, don't yes, be shy, don't be shy. Stella. <laughs> you were wonderful, absolutely wonderful. And tickets are still available for tomorrow night's gala. You can get them at ndss.org slash gala. And tickets are also available for just the concert portion of the evening. We've also set up a link on cbsnewyork.com and we will be right back with more highlights of this beautiful little girl. <laughs>